everybody. It is April and I am in my craft room along with my kitty, my sweet kitty. And today we are going to do row four of our Cricut Maker quilt. I've got my instructions out and I'm ready to start with row four, block 19. If this is the first time that you're joining me, this is a quilt that we cut the material out or the fabric out with our Cricut Maker. You don't have to use the Cricut Maker. You can get the pattern on um, Cricut.com in Design Space. Not sure if it's free, if you have a subscription or if it's just free because it's free. And we are taking all of our cut pieces and we're sewing them together. We're going to do this from start to finish. So. Let's go. So I thought I would do it a little differently this time. I know that I put the pieces together and do it on the camera that faces towards me, but I wasn't sure that that gave you a really good idea of what it looked like. So I thought with row four, what we'll do is we'll come from the top down. So I need, let's see, layout two five half square triangles of fabric two two five half square triangles of fabric one okay so sorry you're gonna see my head so here's fabric one I have little stacks on my desk here's fabric two two one half square triangle of fabric seven, which is over here, and three sixes. This is fabric six. One, two, three. Okay. So I'm going to go by my diagram. I'm going to have that kind of off. To the side. So I need one six. So here's one, and here is six. Make sure you can see that. Then I've got six two, six two, and then seven two. Seven, two, and then six and one. Okay, so let's take these over to the sewing machine and sew them together. I've got my two pieces. I'll line them up. Quarter inch seam. And here we go. And here we're just chain piecing.
so here we've got our pieces. I'm gonna cut them apart. Going to press them open. Oh, All right. So I've got one six, and let's see what my instructions say. Whoops. Okay. So triangles together, long edge, press seams top row towards the right, bottom row towards the left. So I guess their instructions get more, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I skipped a page. Lot 20, okay, oops, okay, 6-2, six, 6-2 two. Six, two is here. Okay, and this is going to go towards the right. This one's towards the right. Okay, 6 1. And because this is bottom, it's going to go to the left. So, like you can see, the seam is going towards the left side of the block. And 7 2 seam will go to the left, so we'll press it like that. And I will press it really quick. And the last one. Okay, so make sure it's right. One, six, six, two, six, one, seven, two. So now I'm going to put these two blocks together. so that they're interlocking. Put these seams so they're interlocking. Okay. Whoop. Got a cat. So, Scoochie. Uh, so she just lies down. 
Okay, so it's this way. Top is going to the left. This way. Bottom is going to the right. So we're going to just finger press it and then finger press it. Then I'll press it with iron. Jab off to the side. Okay, one six six two seven two six one. All right, last one. So I'm going to have since the seams are going or the pressing is going in the opposite direction, I'm going to interlock these and sew them. Now, since the bottom is going the opposite way and the top is going this way, we should be good. Alright, kitty. Don't don't you move on that. It's hot. Alright. This is our block. Let me press it. And this is block number 19. All right. Let's go to the next block, which will be block 20. And it is six and one, and these are the nine and a half inch triangles. All right. So here is six. Here's one, sew these together. Alrighty, our block is almost done. And block 20 is done. All right, block 21, two threes. four sevens. That's a square. One, two, three, four. Two ones. Okay, so we're going to have Scoochie. Three, seven, one, whoops, one, seven, three, seven, seven.
three, seven, seven, one. All right, three, seven, seven, one, three, seven, seven, one. So we should have a, let's see, three, seven, this is seven, one, seven, one, three, seven, and three, seven. Okay. Press seams top row towards right, bottom row towards. Okay, so three and seven. So we're gonna finger press. Then we have seven and one towards the right, finger press. Three and seven toward this is the bottom, so we're gonna finger press. And seven one towards the left. So Right, them out of the camera here. Towards the left, we're gonna finger press. All right, so I have three, seven, three, seven, seven, one, seven, one. All right, so we'll match these seams up and sew them together. Alrighty, so we should have this way, and this one should actually be the same, right? Three seven three seven seven one seven one. All right, so top row, top row to the right. So we're gonna fold this over and press to the right. And then we're going to press this to the left. Three, seven, seven, one, three, seven, seven, one. For some reason, I am struggling with this. All right. I'm going to press this down. Oh. Line these up line it up in the center along the seam so your your two seams should just kind of interlock because each one's pressed a different way I've got a little hanging off the edge here but that's okay because when I go to put everything together I will trim this up so that it's just right block 21 done Block 22 is the same block that we did earlier with these two colors. So, let's do it. Block 22, done. Okay, block 23. Four twos. One, two, three, Four. And actually, I can go one, two, three, four, and five fives. Oop, the notes are over the five. Not five fives, four fives. Wow. All right, so I've got one. Two, three, and four. In case the kitty's in your way, squishy kitty. All right, these should be pretty straightforward.
All right, so these are all the same. The two goes on the outside. The top seems towards the right. Oops. Top seems towards the right. Bottom seems towards the left. Towards the left. Let's go that way. And that way. Right, right, left, left. Okay, let's sew it. done with block 23. There. There. Right. And now we're going to put the two pieces together to finish off block 23. Again, we want to make sure these two seams line up. So we're going to press those two seams together. Alrighty, there is block 23. And last but not least is our 3, 7, two nine and a half inch square, half square triangles. And this will be the last block of row 4. This is block 24. All right, so let's take a look at all of our blocks. So here we have block one, not block one. Let's go back. This is block 19. This is block 20. This is block 21. This is block 22. This is block 23 and this is block 24. All right, everybody, so that was row four of our Cricut Maker Quilt. Thank you for joining me. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more videos in my craft room, please subscribe, share with your friends. If you want to make this quilt and you weren't, you didn't join us from the beginning, that's okay. That's the great thing about YouTube. You can go back to video number one and I will put it up here or here or somewhere around here and you can get started with us. And uh, thank you. You have a great day. And I'll see you next time. I know you have lots of choices when you watch YouTube.